spent 100 days transforming a trail ruin in my hardcore world. There's a certain magic to exploring and building in Minecraft, and with the newest structure added to the game, it leaves many secrets undiscovered. But before we can start on this mega project, we've got to completely ransack this Don't trail. Make me A lot of YouTubers go into their videos with a huge build plan and creative, but I haven't been gifted with the creative juices they have, so it's gonna be interesting to see what I come up with. We turned this mountain into a whole excavation site, but the entire structure looks trash. So what I want to do is rebuild these houses, and to do that, I'm gonna need a ton of terracotta. I'm also gonna need some other materials. The trail ruin has been restored to what Mojang meant it to be, I hope. But something still isn't right. I've got an idea to make it better, but with the building skill of a 7 year old, my chances of carrying out my plan are pretty slim. You see, even though we technically have a full build, I'm not satisfied with this in my hardcore world as my finished work. In some ways, this world is a representation of me, and I want it to be the best it possibly can. We found out that the ancient villagers built their houses from terracotta and mud, so I experimented with many different designs using these blocks. I think I've settled on a style. It's similar to old Jerusalem houses, and it fits the build's prehistoric vibe. Okay, let's blow these houses up. So I'll make an outline of a house, then line the top with mud bricks. Oh, what if I add the new 1.20 plants here? Thank you. But now I think it's lacking greenery, so... Yes, this is wonderful. This style of building is something a noob like me can manage, so... We've only got the tower left. It's the centerpiece of the structure, so it's got to be done right. It has to be so epic, so wonderful, so majestic, something that shows my building character art. I can't just show you. Yeah, I spent 5 hours designing this, chickened out, and ended up copying from one of my other builds. There's a reason for this shape, but that's gonna be revealed later. It's been a while. A good few weeks for me, a few minutes for you. I've transformed every single build here to fit a mud brick village style. It cost me hours of watching build tutorials and practicing in creative, but it's worth it. I've got big plans for the surrounding area, but it all hinges on me being able to tie everything together. And yes, this involves me blowing up half a mountain. That did not go as planned. Now I have to get rid of the mountain manually. So now that the trail ruin isn't just a big hole in the ground, we've got to blend it into the surrounding. I think I want to use stone bricks to form a half circle around it. Like that. Then just make alternating steps down here. I'm really hoping this turns out well. And we'll use the stone we got from digging out this entire place to blend it into the mountain. And I'll just add one final touch to these stairs. It'll be mostly stone, but I can just add some andesite and cobble, just like that. So now if we look at it from here, that, uh, doesn't look very good. What if we had a gradient of grass to stone? Because I think the main issue is that the grass and stone don't quite match. Yeah, then I'll just add some slabs and buttons, and yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. And yes, I know this place is still a hole in the middle of a mountain, but hey, we've made progress, and it's turning out better than expected. But the next obstacle I face might be my hardest challenge yet. Harder than learning to build, more difficult than blowing up a mountain, it's... Yeah, that could be a problem. 
My new nether portal has got to be a lot lower than the original, so I'm mining out a little cave. Oh, hold on. I've got a faster way. This portal is going to be a lot like the one I made in my other videos. I want to make it look like the inside of a deep cave, so I'm swapping the stone for deep stone. One trick I discovered to be a master portal maker is to not show the portal, so we'll cover it up and make it look more natural. And now I have to do the ceiling. This is gonna take a long time. At the edges of the cave, I'll leave some blocks so it gradually transitions from deep slate to stone. Now I'll have a basalt path all the way here to the portal. It doesn't look very good. We'll try something drastically different. It actually turned out better than expected. That's weird. Now for the inside of the cave, I'll add some ores, just like that, and that's the portal finished. Now my nether portal on the other side is pretty difficult to spot, so we'll make it impossible to miss. Then it'll link up to down below. Uh, building down is gonna be an experience. I built chains attached to a platform, then underneath it's gonna connect to a box for the nether portal. Okay, fine. I'm procrastinating. I don't wanna deal with villagers. Can't wait to chase NPCs around for hours. From my research, it seems that most people just cram a bunch of villagers into a tiny, ugly space, and I want to do something a little bit different. Wait, is that a full diamond zombie? Let's see if we can save him. No! Wake up, buddy. We're going on a road trip. Send him through the portal and... Oh, he's already in the boat. That was a lot easier than I expected. So this tower is going to be a disguised villager breeder, like this. Moving villagers can get pretty difficult, so we gotta do it quick. So I'll break the boat and... Oh, he went into the nether. You're joking. We work on the other one first. Push him in? What? He just disappeared. Oh, he's there. Does that mean he's trapped? Yeah. Nice. Here is my next victim, uh, I mean, tenant. Send him up to his new home, and he's trapped. That took a lot longer than I expected, but it's done. So instead of making these small cramped trading halls, this one will look a lot more natural. Now if I send the villager here, he's stuck, but it doesn't look like it. For the next part of our secret slave trading mission, I'll be making this place look more inhabited. Like that. And then we'll move the villagers in. I've only got limited space, so we gotta cram several villagers into one area. We're gonna need a lot more villagers than we currently have, so... Somehow I feel that watching villagers breed is ethically wrong. I'm not finishing these houses as much, but we've got less than 20 days left, and there's still a lot of things I want to get done. Villagers seem to be hardwired to do exactly what you don't want them to do. That's weird, they just disappeared. And that's done. But this place is a mess. Shulkers and chests are everywhere, and we've got a huge ugly cliff wall behind us, and the builds aren't connected. But it's about time I get it done. I actually procrastinated on this part for a good 2 weeks due to pure anxiety. I spent a total of 10 hours in a creative world on this wall alone, trying to make it right. I was scared. This was the final mark this video would make on the YouTube algorithm before it was washed away into the millions of hours of content that came before it. And I wanted this to be the best video I could make. But that's fine. At the end of the day, I'm proud of what I've done. I pushed myself hard, and I'm happy with the result.